Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Woo, I'm like doing the thumbs up. Facebook Friday, Frilly Chi Friday. How is everybody? It's the last Friday in July, you guys. Where has the summer gone? I'm like, ah, can't even believe like how time is flying, right? So hopefully you're all enjoying your summer. We've got one more month, at least around here in Michigan, hopefully, right? It usually lasts through the end of August. Hello, Sharon, welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got lots and lots of great stuff to share with you guys today. So many good things happening, right? Most in particular, well, actually, hold on, let me back up. I want to tell you guys what we're going to be playing with today. Uh, we are, <clears throat> this is an awesome stamp set that you can order right now. Hello, Debbie, welcome, and Philomena, thank you guys for hanging out. And Debbie, thank you for the share already, awesome. For, watching in Southwest Michigan, I love it. Thank you, Philomena, for sharing as well. So yeah, I'm so glad to have everybody here. I'm glad to be back too. Um, yeah, so this is the stamp set we're gonna be playing with. It's called the Shaded Summer Stamp Set beautiful stamp set with some wonderful uh, sentiments in it also. So let me read them to you because they're, you can't read them backwards, plus they're like in um, cursive, some parts of it are. So, okay, here we go. We have, may the good you do come back to you. That's a really nice sentiment, right? Above and beyond, you go there a lot. That one's very cool, right? Love you, friend. Happy birthday. Some friendships are just meant to be. Hello, you, and thank you. So that is the stamp set that we're gonna play, be playing with today. And then, you guys, it gets even better. For a celebration, Stampin' Up! created a set of dies that coordinate with this stamp set. So starting next Tuesday, August 3rd, you can get these dies for free with a $100 order. And you'll see, so the images, right, in the stamp set, we've got the two really beautiful floral images. Those, let me turn it sideways maybe so you can see a little bit better. Those will be cut out with those two big dies right there. And actually there's another little kind of spriggy image. That one right there, hello, Jamie. Ha, huh, getting your classroom set up. Yeah, that's gonna be happening already, huh, Jamie? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, so don't be wishing the summer away, right? Oh, <laughs> yes, what fun times, right? Um, okay, so where is it now? I'm trying to find, oh, I guess it's this little guy right here, cuts the spriggy image out. And then the other kind of really cool thing is the other images are just kind of complimentary. There aren't um, images with these, um, uh, you know, shapes in them in the stamp set, but they work beautifully with the images and of course the sentiments in the stamp set. So awesome. We're going to be playing with, like I said, shaded summer, and these are called the summer shadow dies. Okay. So be playing with those in a little bit. Can't wait to share my projects with you guys. And then, yeah. So like I said, celebration, I can show you the outside of the little brochure. Can't show you the inside quite yet. We just have a few more days on our next Facebook live. We'll be able to open this baby up and flip right through it. Although I'm sure most of you have probably seen lots of projects already posted with um, products used from Celebration. As demonstrators, we've been able to order all month long, the whole month of July. Every time we spend $50 on a demonstrator order, we can pick an item out of the Celebration brochure. And just make sure, because this is something I was really stressing this at our group meeting, the other day. Um, <clears throat> this is something totally new and different. Since I've been with Stampin' Up! over 12 or 13 years, I think, um, we have never done a second celebration. Oh, Sharon, what's she saying? Jenny and I are getting yes for your craft beer tomorrow. That's right. Can't believe, right? End of July is already here. So good luck with that. I'll be excited to hear how that goes for you and Jenny, Miss Sharon. Um, okay, so yeah, totally lost my train of thought. Um, I don't know, celebration. Basically, we will be, well, that's what I was saying, right? Now I know, now I know. Yeah, we've never done this before. We've never had like two celebrations in one year. Um, so this is something totally new and different. So basically, for basically the whole month of August and September, every time you spend $50, you get to pick a free item out of here. There are some items that are um, free with a $100 order. There is a stamp set, a die set, and there might be one other thing. Um, so let's see, yes. Oh, you get to watch for a little bit. Oh, but the girls are fighting now, Denise. Oh, <laughs> yeah, little kids in the fighting. It never ends, does it? I remember, I remember those days with my two kiddos. Um, so yeah, Tuesday, starting Tuesday morning, you'll be able to get your freebies out of here as a customer on a customer order, okay? 
And you'll also be able to order out of our new holiday mini catalog, which I know I've been sharing um, some of the product that we received um, uh, in Maui. We got a bunch of product from the holiday mini catalog. And then I've been ordering some other fun things and can't wait to share those um, products with you guys as we get to play with them also. And Sharon, she's saying she's ready to hand out those celebration catalogs. Yes, yes, yes. I think it's the biggest thing we can do is just definitely make sure everybody knows about celebration because we've never done it before and people aren't going to be expecting it. In the you know beginning of the year, people are always like anybody that knows about Stampin' Up! knows that we do celebration at the beginning of the year. This one is going to throw people for a loop. So we got to make sure everybody knows. Basically, I mean, I always say, even if you're like, oh, I don't know if I really need anything, you always need adhesive, right? You always need envelopes. You generally always need some of that neutral, like white and vanilla cardstock. So you might as well stock up even on the basics if you're like, I don't know if I need any more designer series paper or whatever it might be. Um, get your basics because you're always using those right get them in august and september and you can get a free celebration item too so plus you're probably going to need something new out of the holiday mini catalog right i'm just sure of that too so many cute things in here you guys so yeah so keep that in mind starting tuesday august 3rd for two whole months we get to get freebies with celebration again so that's four months out of the year instead of just we used to do it for three months um, in prior years. So get an extra month of free stuff, which is awesome, 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 right? Okay, so let me see. Ooh, I know what I wanna tell you guys about now. We, me, we, me, whatever. <laughs> I am doing a holiday catalog designer series paper share. And I brought over just a couple and I haven't even opened them yet because I just got another order last night that Lily helped me put together. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just gonna kind of show you even the outside packages of some of the holiday catalog designer series paper so for example this super cute i didn't realize until i ordered it it's six by six hello brenda thank you for hanging out with us today um yeah so the halloween paper i think it's called the cute halloween paper is six by six paper so that's kind of fun you can make lots of cute little treats with um six by six size right so that is one of the things that you would get and basically what i'm going to do with my designer series paper share is and i think i counted 18 different packs of so it's either designer series paper or specialty paper you know what i'm going to read the names of them all off just so you guys know um, what we're looking at. Generally, it's all 12 by 12 paper. So for example, this one is the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. So what I do is you get a quarter of a pack. So I grab one of these packs and I cut it in half and then you get a six by 12 piece of every single pattern in um, the pack of paper, okay? So a quarter of a pack of each of our Designer Series paper. So we have Gingerbread and Peppermint, Painted Christmas, Whimsy and Wonder, Sweet Stockings, Peaceful Place, Blackberry Beauty, Cute Halloween, Harvest Meadow. This is only like half of them, you guys. Heartwarming Hugs, which is another six by six paper. I think I showed you guys that a couple weeks ago. Um, then we also have, these are a little bit more of the specialty papers. We have craft paper, silver foil, brushed metallic, red and green foil sheets, snowy white, red velvet, gold shimmer vellum, black glitter paper, and cork paper. I have to show you, I do have the cork paper right here too. So this is another one. Doesn't this, this totally looks like for real, like cork. Isn't that so cool? So again, you'll get a quarter of a pack of all of those papers, all 18 that I just listed out. It's $54 to get a quarter of a pack of all of those 18 packs of designer and specialty papers, right? If you um, need it shipped to you, it's an additional $9 shipping. You actually are going to get a share, a free share of the three packages of celebration paper as well. So I'll include those um, with your paper share. So 18 different packs in the holiday catalog, three in the celebration brochure for just $54. This is an awesome deal. It's a great way to basically get a sample of all of the paper in those catalogs. And then you can look at it front and back. And I love doing the paper shares too, because then I get all of the paper and I can like check it all out too. But it's a great way to see everything, which generally, you know, there are some papers that totally catch your eye and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. And others that you're like, eh, I don't know, do I like that? But once you see it, generally, um, it's so much more beautiful in person than it is maybe in, that they can show in the catalog. It's hard to show everything in the catalog and really be able to, you know, get a good feel for it. So hello, Diana. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. Um, okay, so basically, as I get groups of four 
um, with the paper share, I'm going to put an order in. So I can put orders in even right now for this. So if I get four people, I have a couple people already signed up, but every time I get a group of four, I'm going to put an order in and I'm going to keep doing that through Wednesday, August 18th. That'll be the last day to sign up for the paper share. But if you're interested, I will include the link in the details above this Facebook live video after um, we are finished this morning, right? Um, and I've been emailing about it. I posted it on my blog. Also, you can email me at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com if you need the link to sign up. You can pay right through PayPal, um, cash, check, credit card, whatever you want to do. I make it easy for you, whatever is easiest for you. Okay? So, yeah, I'd love to get you a sample of all of the new designer series papers because there are lots of beautiful papers in there. So once I get it all, I'll show you guys too. I think it's even better when you can see like a full, like this is what a paper share looks like and you can see all of the different paper that you can get, okay? Um, all right, I think we are ready to do our first drawing. So you guys have been really good already about sharing the video. So as you share the video, uh, next time we do Facebook Live, your name will go right in here. If you shared the last Facebook Live video that we did, your name is in here right now, right? So share, share, share that video. I truly appreciate that. I know I always say it, but it's, it's the best way for me to find new people to hang out with and stamp with and share with and paper craft and just have some fun with, right? So you guys all know how fun this is, right? So share it with others. Uh, we can touch somebody else's life as well. And then the other way is if you haven't signed up for my email list, just go ahead and do that. I'll include that link to, um, to this. I'll put it above the Facebook Live video, right? So sign up there. It's the best way to keep updated on everything that's going on. Um, when you sign up, you get your name in the drawing here too. Okay. Oh, actually, wait, what are we giving away? These are lovely, the beautiful, the genial gems. I've been playing with these a lot. You guys know me and my bling. I, I basically have to put bling on pretty much everything that we make around here. So, okay, here we go. The winner of the genial gems. I have one in my hand. <laughs> Miss Vina Gomez. She has been so lucky lately. So congratulations, Miss Vina. And she actually put an online order in too. So her name is in the other drawing. It's funny because I was even, as I was um, prepping for Facebook Live, I was like, wouldn't it be interesting um, if Vina won both of the drawings, which is totally possible because you guys know I just don't get that many online orders. So the odds are always really good of winning the other drawing that we're gonna do in just a few minutes. Too. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. Congratulations, Miss Vina, on winning those fun little genial gems. Okay, let me get the names in the basket for the next drawing. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, we are going to be giving away the Opal Rounds, not more fun um, kind of bling. These are, it's kind of interesting because I think these, so they're like pretty like white, basically kind of clear but opal, right? They have that opalescent kind of look to them. And so when you put them with a color, they kind of pull that color, that opal, you know, the um, pretty kind of pastels, pinks, blues, um, greens. Um, yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, you can kind of, you can't see it on the video, maybe a little bit, but anyway. So that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live for sharing the video and signing it for my email list, okay? Um, so we have to give, let me make sure, um, you know, I'm going to check my notes here, but I think that's where we're at. Miss Jenny Boffman actually um, just promoted. She is one of our Inkspired Stampers in Sharon's group. And Jenny and Sharon are the ones that are actually doing a craft fair. Hello, Miss Susan. <laughs> yes, happy birthday. Um, yeah, so Jenny actually promoted to Bronze Elite um, earlier this month. Uh, so she now, what, what happens at Bronze Elite, basically um, you buy the starter kit, you get that awesome starter kit deal, and then you get 20% off of all of your orders once you um, start placing orders. And then when you reach $1,800 in sales, you promote to Bronze Elite, which is what Jenny just did. And the awesome thing about Bronze Elite is then instead of getting 20% off of your orders as a discount or earning income, 25% income on everything um, that you sell, right? Now you get 25% either discount or income on your orders. So that is an awesome, awesome deal. And the other super cool thing is, and this is something I've been really stressing to everybody in my Inkspired Stampers group is, Stampin' Up! does kind of like a re-evaluation of your title on September 30th each year. So if you, anybody that, um, 
um, is um, a demonstrator, sorry, I'm like stumbling over my words. Um, anybody that is a demonstrator, if you have at least $1,800 in that rolling 12 month sales and you're considered a bronze elite, basically as of September 30th, you then get 25% off of your orders for a whole nother year. So it's a great thing to get to by September 30th, make sure you're there at September 30th, and then you um, get that benefit the whole next year. Even if you kind of dip down below $1,800 in sales they don't like fix it they don't change it until next September 30th so anyway congratulations Jenny met that um, goal of hers she actually also got to there's something called quick start so when you buy the starter kit um, Stampin Up loves to like reward you for kind of quick start like jump starting your sales as quickly as possible so Jenny actually reached that $1,800 in sales mark um, within her first six months of buying the starter kit. So she also reached the second quick start level and gets $100 in free product from Stampin' Up as well too. Plus anybody in my Inkspired Stampers group in my first, second, and third levels. Also, I love to reward you for getting to Bronze Elite. And so you actually get a $50 shopping spree from me too. So that's like $150 in free stuff just for $1,800 in sales. Plus then you're getting your 25% discount on everything that you order after that. So it is an awesome step to get to, something that everyone should work toward once you get that starter kit. So if anybody has any questions on that too, I'd love to um, chat with you, answer any questions that you have, help you make a plan to get there yourself. Um, if you think about it, basically if you have $150 in orders every single month over 12 months, keep that up consistently, you're at $1,800 in like rolling 12 month sales. So it's simple math, which I'm a math girl, so I'm happy to help you with that too if math is not your thing. Okay, um, so let's see, I think, what are we gonna do now? Oh, I wanna show, so Miss Vina, who just won the Genial Gems, sent me a super cute card, cause she's been a winner um, on and off as we've been doing these Facebook Lives. Well, and I have to show you, okay, so I'll like cover up her address, right? But um, look at this beautiful envelope that she sent with the pansies on it, isn't that gorgeous? love and just, there's even a little sticker on there too right isn't that beautiful okay and then inside was a pansy card too so isn't that beautiful she used her dies or maybe even just her paper snips i'm not sure um to cut out the images in the designer series paper and then she says thanks a bunch and i think this was a fun card if i remember correctly yes okay so watch this i hadn't opened it in a little bit but isn't that cool Look at how she did that, right? And it kind of pops up. It's like a little pop-up window card. So isn't that super cute? But she used a bunch of the Pansy Designer Series paper on there as well with a lovely little thank you so much for the beautiful ribbon, she says, and the cute card. She hearts it, she says. So that was very, very sweet. So thank you, Vina. That was a beautiful card. I love seeing what you guys are doing with your products that you order or that you win. So it's really fun for me to be able to see that too. So thank you, Vina, and you are very welcome. And you'll be getting those genial gems out next. Uh, let's see. So, oh, okay. I know what I want to show you guys. Um, we did, I think I mentioned that we had our Inspired Stampers group meeting the other, was it last week? It feels like it was longer ago, but I think it was just last week. Maybe two weeks. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, recently, third Tuesday of the month, it's always whatever. The <laughs> I'll explain why I'm even more like discombobulated than usual in a moment, but I don't wanna like get myself too off track. I wanna show you guys. So first of all, our make and takes from our meeting. I'm like trying to spread these out a little bit. They featured some of the new Celebration Designer Series paper. And I forget what the name of it is, so hold on, I'm gonna look it up. I can't show you guys the inside of the catalog and it kills me to do that, not be able to do that. It's called the Peaceful Prince Designer Series paper. Um, and let's see, what are the colors it does tell me? Basic Black, Cherry Cobbler, Garden Green, Real Red, and Sahara Sand. And this is the paper that coordinates with the Peaceful Deer bundle that is in our new mini, or yeah, the holiday mini catalog. Lots of um, reindeer and snowflakes and other beautiful imagery on the designer series paper. So I'll kind of flash these up. I love to do kind of simple cards because we do four cards and it gets a little bit late too. The meeting goes for a while and then we have to do our make and take. So I like to keep the make and takes pretty simple so that it doesn't take people too long to put the make and takes together or make it's easy for them to go home and put them together the next day or you know whenever they can get to it. But I also love to be able to show 
um, products that they can use in a class um, or even just advertise. So this is our new Celebration Designer Series paper. So this is one of my favorites because we've got those fun reindeer and that um, black and red buffalo check with the um, little snowflakes there. Hello, Miss Deb. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, because we talk too much. That's all right. That We love to be able to share too. That's motivating and inspiring for people too to kind of hear about what other people are doing. So, okay, so check this one out. It also features a bunch of the new dyes, which I can't remember the name of those either. I could probably look that up. Hold on, because I did use those quite a few times. Yeah, I used it on that little that little label there too. So it's one of, it's like holiday label. I might have even shown it to you guys um, already. They are called, here we go, the seasonal labels dies. I've used those a bunch already too because these are ones that they coordinate with something called the Christmas season stamp set. I know I showed you guys these. I'm sure I did. Um, but that stamp set has a bunch of kind of pine cones and berries and boughs and leaves and that sort of thing, but then also has a bunch of labels in it also. So that's gonna be a must have set of dies and I'll show you why, because here's an example, right? These are two different label dies right here and that beautiful sentiment, friends like you make this season special with that um, evergreen embossing folder back there too, if you can see that. And then here, this I love, there's just something about that paper, kind of a plaid, but then with the um, snowflakes on it also. And this is some of the black and white gingham ribbon that is part of the Halloween suite, but I used it on a holiday card. I'm gonna be using that. That's probably one I'm I'm fearing that it's gonna sell like, like hotcakes and it's gonna be hard to get. So make sure you order that little black and white gingham paper while you can, because I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see. You never know, maybe I'm not always right. But that's another one of the labels from the labeled die set, right? And then here, our last one, another, and then the paper, you guys have been noticing the designer series paper too. So all of that designer series paper that we have used, that one and that one and then these are I think this was kind of front and back here too that was the front and that's the back with the little buffalo check there um, that is part of the celebration designer series paper that you can get for free with a $50 order so we had fun with those make and takes um, the other kind of cool thing I think is if you are a long distance um, member of our Inkspired Stampers group, I do offer for the make and takes, I'll mail those out to you. You need your own stamps and ink to complete your projects if you can't make it to the meeting because I can't stamp anything for you. Um, but I will put everything else together for you. Lily's a good helper with that too. She helps me kind of sort and pack everything, get the ribbon cut and all the little gems and everything we use and get them all packed up and sent out to you. So another great benefit for being in our Inkspired Stampers group is to be able to get these make and takes mailed to you every single month. So something else to think about if you're wondering, should I get the starter kit? You should get it, you should definitely get it because it's a great deal. And join our group, right? Because then you get to make these fun little cards every single month too. Mail them right out to you, okay? And another great thing that we do at our meeting is swapping. And I have to tell you guys, um, I don't have all of the swaps because we have been doing so well with our swapping. <laughs> yeah, Sharon, Lily can never leave home. You're right. I know. What am I going to do when she goes? Yeah, I don't even want to think about it. I have another year with her. Cade, we're like counting down the weeks now that, oh my gosh, you got me thinking about that. He's like four, I think four weeks from today, we move him into his dorm. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's starting to freak me out. So yeah, um, super crazy. We gotta, I gotta make sure, gotta make the most of my time with that kiddo before the next four weeks go by, right? So I'm trying, we've been doing a pretty good job of it this summer, but we gotta, yeah, keep that up for the next little bit because then he's gonna be gone a couple hours away and he's gonna be my kid that I won't hear from quite as much. Um, I, Actually, that's another fun thing. I was with um, a couple of my best, best, best friends from middle school and high school. I think we met in seventh grade when I moved here to Alma. Um, anyway, we got together last weekend for a girls weekend and we were talking about our kids and one of my friends, um, her son is out at Dartmouth and so that is in um, New Hampshire and she lives in Minneapolis. So that's obviously quite a distance, right? She was talking about he's the kid, like she'll text him and it might be days before she hears back from him. And you know, you're like, okay, I think he's fine. And he is, you know, I mean, we just hope and pray that they are, right? Um, but he's just not really good at communicating. And it really got me thinking, I'm like, what's Kate gonna be like? I think he'll be okay, but 
I can see him at times getting busy and um, not texting his mom back as, as quickly as I would like. So that will be interesting to see how that all goes. Lily will, will be good. I'm sure she'll be in good communication because she's good right now. Cade's just a little bit more of his own little man, so we'll see. Anyway, um, but okay, so how did I get off on that tangent? Oh, because Lily can't leave. That's right. Okay, sorry. We're back on track now, ladies. So what I was starting to say was we have been doing such a good job with our swapping um, that we haven't made quite as many as we need. I think I tell everybody can't even remember how many tell, but I'm like, I'm thinking how to tell everybody to make a couple more because I don't have all of them to show. We did share them on our Inkspired Stampers, our Facebook group. So if you're a member of the Inkspired Stampers and weren't able to come to the meeting and didn't participate in the swap, which that's another thing that we do. So through our group meetings, if you are long distance, if you make your swaps and send them to me, I'll swap them for you at the meeting and mail them back to you. So that's another great thing um, that you can participate in um, as our Inkspired Stampers group is that swapping too. So, okay, I'll show you the ones that I do have. And I was trying to, I didn't get names of everybody who made them. So I'll tell you the people that I think made them if I remember, if I know. So anyway, this one is kind of a fun one because I love that dandelion and embossing folder and she um, embossed the vellum. So isn't that so pretty? And then this is um, soft sea, no, not soft sea foam. This is um, soft succulent cardstock, right? Yeah. Um, anyway, this one is Sunday made this card, I believe. So if I'm wrong, you guys pop on here and tell me who actually made it. Sharon, you might be able to tell me all these people. This one, I believe Nancy made because I remember her showing this one because it's a fun, is it a fun fold or is it a band? Now I'm like, it did, it did open up. Hmm. There's something funny with it right now. Oh, no, it's just how I'm holding it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so there, so that flips open and then that flips open. So isn't that cool? I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to make that card at some point. So I gotta keep that one in my stash of cool card layouts so that we can make something fun with that one at some point. So isn't that cool? So that was from Nancy. Now I believe this one was made by Julie because she shared with us where she got these big cello bags because she likes to do this. She sells her cards. And so she's got the happy birthday to you with the, all the fun bright colors. And she puts it in a big cello bag so that they, when you sell them, they can open up the inside of the card and be able to see what you've stamped on the inside, which I think is a fabulous idea. I don't know why I've never thought of that. And then she's got the envelope on the back with her stamping there too. So isn't that a cool one with some of our beautiful, are those all, those are all in colors. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then this one. I am guessing Charlene made, but I'm not quite sure. But this one features, if you guys can see some of our new holiday catalog designer series paper that you could get in that paper share if you're interested, because this is beautiful. I have ordered this, but I don't have it yet. So I'm super excited to check it out because that, that makes it look, and I think in the right light, it's almost like a bluey silver kind of foil. I don't know if you guys can see that. If I get just the right light, you can almost kind of see little blue foil accents almost. So it's beautiful, beautiful paper. And then this last one, this is a total guess. Hi, Vina, how are you? I'm thinking maybe Susie made this card, but I'm not entirely sure. This was one that I didn't see. It got confusing during the swapping because I was trying to swap for everybody that mailed their swaps in. So I kind of didn't see because people were sharing quite as well as I could have. But this is a fun one. This is that Pattern Party Designer Series paper that's one of the free host items in our annual catalog. And then my favorite, love that stamp set too, the happy birthday. And she decorated the inside too, which I thought was super cute. So this one says birthday, birthday with those little birdies there too. So, oh, Sharon made it. Okay, good. All right, thank you, Sharon. Awesome. Okay, so not Susie, but Sharon made this one. Thank you, Sharon. I'm so appreciative that you're on here and could correct me on that one. So hopefully I got the other ones right because I'm not I'm not 100% on those either. But the other ones, we had so many other cute swaps too. And um, I just didn't get copies of them because we didn't have quite enough. So I wanted to make sure everybody else got them that participated in the swap because I don't generally 
make swaps for the meeting. You Generally, everybody's gracious enough to give me one so I can show them here on the Facebook Live and then I um, have them out at our um, uh, classes and events and things too that we do here locally. So it's a fun way to be able to share everybody's swaps with everybody else too. So, okay, all right, I think I'm about done like talking and sharing. I just wanna show you one more thing because um, this was a little club member treat that I made for everybody this month and I think everybody's gotten, although maybe not quite. So this might be a little bit of um, a spoiler alert, I guess, if you haven't gotten your little club member treat. But this was a fun little baby treat and um, a Twix bar this kind of fits it like, kind of slides slides right in there. You can see, you can put any, any little treat inside there and I didn't even catch it, but this one is pretty snug in there so it doesn't fall out. But I used some of that pansy paper um, I have a blog post that I did in a video, so check out um, gatheringinspiration.com and you can see um, how I made this. Just a fun little treat there for you guys. So yes, that was, like I said, treats that we made for everybody. Okay, I think, where are my notes? They're all covered up with everything I've been sharing with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick double check and I'm gonna get a sip of water because I feel like I could use that and I'll make sure that we're ready to flip the camera down. Hmm. Oh no, we didn't do our other drawing. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I would have been freaking out if I hadn't done that. Okay, yeah, let's do our other drawing. Oh my gosh, I kind of got like super excited about this stuff. Okay, so if you put an online order in of at least $30, your name is in this little basket right here, you automatically receive the cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, which were these fun, bright, beautiful, cards featuring the stamp set that I don't have right in front of me here. <laughs> anyway, whatever that stamp set was that we used, maybe Sunny Sentiments. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, so hello, Miss Monica. Yes, you did get one with your um, In Color Club. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you enjoy receiving those. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah, so if you put an online order of at least $30, you are getting both of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name is in the drawing right now to win the Right Behind You stamp set. We're gonna draw for that in just a sec, right? The other thing to know though is if you bump your order up to over $50, you get to pick from either the free embellishment in July, which are the blue adhesive back gems or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So lots and lots of freebies for putting an order in. Plus, starting August 3rd, might as well bump your order up to $50 anyway, right? Because you're going to get a free celebration item also. So lots of great things to um, say thank you for your online orders. Okay, so now we are going to draw for, this is such a cute little stamp set, right? I love that little tandem bike there. The right behind you stamp set. So thank you um, for your online orders. I do appreciate those so very, very much. So thank you, thank you, ladies. Okay. So tossing the names around in here, um, but you guys know this, I still don't get that many online orders, so your odds are really, really good of winning this drawing. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Lots of people riding bikes by, I'm like getting all distracted. Ooh, that looks like fun to be out riding a bike. Okay, so the winner is Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. I will get that stamp set mailed right out to you. So thank you for your order, ma'am. Okay, so now, no, we can't quite flip the camera down because I want to show you guys um, the stamp set that we're going to give away with online orders of at least $30. I'll give you the host code in just a sec too. You got to make sure you use that host code too so I know you want to be um, have your name in the drawing. So we have, this is this awesome, it's a celebration stamp set. So it's called the Textures and Frames Stamp Set. And I just think this is gonna be so much fun. I have yet to actually play with it, but I've got some fun ideas with these, the um, kind of the background images and then the overlaying. They, they've done some really cute things. I think you can just kind of build a lot of different images with that stamp set. So this is what we'll give away. If you put an online order in of at least $30, you could win this stamp set that normally you have to spend $50 to be able to receive. Okay, plus you'll also get the projects we're going to demonstrate in just a sec and um, you can pick from either depending on so tomorrow's the last day of July, either the July uh, free embellishment, which are the blue adhesive back gems or August, um, I believe the free embellishment is going to be the in color gems jewels. Finally, I think I've got a little stockpile of those as my thank yous um, or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial for August. So 
Okay, I think we're good. I'm like just doing a double check. Yeah, I think, I think we're ready. We're ready to flip the camera down. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab that postcode just so you guys have that. Okay, turn your heads away for a moment. We're gonna fly through the air and flip our camera down. You guys are always so sweet with your congratulations. Okay, I almost hit finish instead of flip. There we go, that's what we're looking for. All right, so let me get things adjusted a little bit. Okay, so this is our host code for the next little bit, the R6F43XQE. So make sure you use that host code when you order online. Um, let's see, what do I need? I need some grid paper. Okay, got my grid paper. Okay, so. Let's see, I'm gonna have to move that up. I have to usually have to move it up more because I need to make sure that this is in view there. Okay, so, okay, I think we're good. All right, ladies, so here is our first card. Again, featuring that shaded summer stamp set. Now you can see it and it won't be backwards. I actually, let's scoot it over, right? Along with the summer shadows dies. Okay, so now you can see maybe even better. This image and this image are cut out with those dies. That little baby is with that one right there. And then lots of awesome sentiments along with some complimentary images. Yes, so Jamie, I love these colors too. So this is Coastal Cabana, Fresh Freesia, and Calypso Coral. And I used our color coach um, to get this color combo. I, I um, happened to see it like laying on my printer or something. I was like, oh, that's what I need is some inspiration, some color inspiration. A lot of times what I'll do is flip through our catalogs and I'll, you know, something jumps out at me. A lot of times it's like the color combo that they've used on that project. So I kind of jot notes as I'm flipping through the catalog, like, ooh, I love that color combination. Um, but another great way is to use our color coach too. So yes, it is a beautiful stamp set, isn't it, Susan? We were looking earlier at all the different sentiments that are in it too. Lots of beautiful sentiments and then lot, that beautiful imagery too. To that floral imagery and now there's a set of dies this is the set that you can get for free during celebration with a 100 dollars order so keep that in mind you can start ordering on tuesday order that stamp set get some other things and you get the dies for free okay here we go i have been a chatty kathy this morning haven't i ladies but i'm gonna get my stamps and my ink out all right, so let me tell you dimensions of things because I'm always afraid I'm going to forget that. So if I do it at the beginning, then we will be on track with that. Okay, so like I said, Coastal Cabana cardstock. Okay, here's a full sheet of cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay. There's my score mark for our nice crisp fold as always. Next is, let me make sure, yes, this white piece, the basic white piece, measures three and three quarters by five, and we are gonna emboss that piece with our, I think it's the brick and mortar embossing folder. Then basically everything else are kind of just pieces of cardstock. So we've got basic white cardstock, well, you'll see, I'm gonna cut that out with um, the rectangle stitched dies. This piece we're gonna stamp on here, and then this one is for our little leaf there. And then I brought a couple of, these are just half inch wide strips. I end up with a million of these when I cut down the cardstock that goes on the inside of the card. So you always end up with these little half inch strips. So I brought a couple just in case I'm having trouble getting that stamped straight. So as I'm saying that, I'm probably gonna put my glasses on because that will be helpful. Thank goodness I remember to put those right there. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna have to do a little bit. I know what we can, well, we can kind of do this. Okay, I'm trying to only get the um, die cutting machine out once is why I'm like singing to myself. Okay, so we're gonna start with, that's my embossed piece, so I don't wanna stamp on that. Okay, so I have my Coastal Cabana ink. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're gonna stamp that right on here and do our die cutting of that one, okay? I'm gonna come back and stamp that rectangle piece after we die cut the rectangle piece. 
Okay, so I think we are good to go to do our die cutting and embossing. So let's do that first. Okay. Are we in view? I think we are, right? Okay, so let's see if I put this one here. I am not going to be able to fit them all on at the same time, am I? Okay, so we're going to have to crank this a couple of times. That's okay, though. All right, so you can see this baby is going to go on there. I'll fix that in a moment. And then we have that one and that one, right? Okay, so we got those there. This you just have to get lined up a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to go back and forth just because the fresh freesia, there's some detail on that, so I want to make sure I got that cut well. Yes, I did. Look at that. Pops right up. Super easy. Peel that right off. Actually, I'm going to try to get that so all those little babies come off. There. We got this one. Oops. Kind of flung that around. Okay, and then, ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I, I'm so excited because I lined that up really, really well. The one I made earlier on the card didn't get lined up quite as well, so I'm super excited about that too. Okay, now let's die cut our rectangle. We've got this one. So with our rectangle stitched dies, let me pull this out and I'll show you. This is going to be the third largest in the wider rectangles, okay? So we're gonna put this one on here. Actually, I'm gonna go this way. Okay, and then, gotta use my muscles. These, it's um, those big rectangle dies. They tend to, they're a little tough sometimes. Okay, so there's our rectangle with the stitching. You guys can kind of see that, right? So we're gonna stamp on that next. All right, so last we have, let's scoop this right out of the way. We're gonna do our embossing with my new brick and mortar embossing folder. Been having some fun with this one. So it's a, a big wide one too. So you can make the brick either go that way or that way. We're gonna make it go across. I'm gonna lay that in there. Okay, that looks straight. All right. We're gonna emboss this baby. Oops, I got that a little wonky there. <laughs> yeah, I'm making like little skid marks on the inside. That's okay though. All righty, let me scoot this baby out of the way. Right, so you guys want to see? Isn't that cool? It's a little bit hard because it got covered up, but isn't that awesome? And so some of them are popping out a little bit more. You guys can kind of see that extra detail there too. I think that's very, very cool. All right, let's see, I think. So let's do our stamping now. I'm gonna put this right on here because I think I'm gonna go off the edge a little bit. All right, so let's bring our card. Nope, this isn't the one I want to stamp on. That would be weird. We're gonna stamp on this one right here instead. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my card right there so you guys can kind of see it. So the one thing I will tell you is that I actually, for placement, I did stamp this one even though, well, because originally I was just gonna stamp it and then um, later I was like, you know, I wanna pop it up on dimensional. So I put that there, like I said, more for placement than anything. Then I'm gonna use my Fresh Freesia ink and with the other big flower stamp, right? Let's see. So I'm going to stamp. I did this one kind of maybe right about there, right? And then I just used like the little corner of it just to kind of add in a little bit. You guys can kind of see it there, right? And then I did one more down there, okay? Then with my Calypso Coral ink, I used just this little spriggy guy, and then I just kind of filled in um, around, 
kind of the edges. Just right where I had a little free space. I'm trying not to overlap things, um, but isn't that cool? Um, let's see. Oh, Sharon's saying if you put the rectangle dies through at an angle that it goes through, yes. Okay, that's a really good tip, Sharon. I bet that makes sense because as you're putting it through, it's that whole ridge, and if you have it kind of angled, then yeah, I can, I can. That makes sense. Okay, good. Thank you. That's a great tip. I'm gonna have to try that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So there's a really good example of a shaded summer stamp set, right? Actually used to stamp. Okay. So now I think, let's see, what do we need to do? We're gonna stamp our love you friend on our little half inch wide strip with, okay, now I gotta put my glasses on. So they're like readers and I can't, they make me feel dizzy um, when I don't need them, um, but I need them right now, so okay. I'd put them on earlier when I said I was gonna put them on. I think that's good enough. And then I got dizzy, so I had to take them off, okay. There we go. Always more info than you need to know, right? But <laughs> it's just how it goes around here, people. Okay. Oh, the other thing I was going to do was grab another adhesive too, because mine is, I think I'm getting to the end. But okay, so hopefully, hopefully it doesn't run out before we um, finish this video. So maybe I just won't use a lot. <laughs> so normally I might use more um, adhesive, especially on <laughs> these things that um, are embossed, but go a little light-handed because I really don't want to um, run out. Okay, so here we go. Oops. One more, one more. There we go. Okay, so we can put that on at an angle. We're going to put that one on at an angle. We are going to grab, where'd my die go? Here it is. Oh yeah, I tossed a couple of things aside so I wouldn't lose them. Okay, so we're going to put some dimensionals behind this little, oops, it keeps flapping around on me. Okay, so we're gonna add this one. Sharon, I love that tip. I think that makes a lot of sense too. Okay, so like I said, just kind of use that for placement there. Then let's see, we need to, oh, I guess I've got that. I'm working with it right here, aren't I? Okay, so I wanna add a little bit of adhesive behind this baby. And this one's gonna be finicky. There and there and there. There, I was trying to figure out if I actually had adhesive or not. <laughs> so this, I love this idea too with just layering like the color on color. So it just gives it a little bit more um, kind of texture, right? And then let's see, I used a little mini dimensionals I kind of put on the bottom leaves right here. Okay, <laughs> Rachel Tessman told you that. Good, Sharon, I like it. Okay, so we're just gonna put that maybe right about there. Next, I am going to, yeah, this thing is definitely at the end of its run here. Okay, where's my ribbon? So I used, I kind of use this, this is like a cheater ribbon in terms of color, because I think it's pool party, but I think it can kind of look like, um, Coastal Cabana too. Okay, so we're gonna just run that there. I'm gonna add a little bit more adhesive and we're just gonna flip that and run it back right there. All right, and then we are gonna just trim that little baby up. And then we're also gonna just trim the edges of our love you friend, okay? And and then a couple more little minis back here. Thank you. Is that Philomena? Thank you. I'm glad you like this. I know, just kind of some soft, pretty colors here on this one. But yeah, fun color combo, I thought, too. Okay, I kind of put this at an angle so that it would stay on a little bit better, too. Because sometimes when you put dimensionals right on ribbon, it kind of flaps around. So I like to try to get it stuck on the cardstock, too. Okay, and then last but not least, I have my, what are these? The Artistry Blooms Adhesive Back Sequins. You can see I've got a couple of different packs pulled apart in here. We are going to use the little Baby Blue 
on here because of course we need to have a little bling ladies i love these little sequins i am not so good with the sequins that don't have adhesive on the back of them those drive me a little bit bonkers but these babies i love you don't get nearly as many but they're really easy to work with when they already have the adhesive on the back of them so yay and there you guys can kind of see that embossing around there too so beautiful huh again with that stamp set in the annual catalog and then those free dies that you can get during celebration okay so there's card number one for us i am gonna clean i think i really need to so they laugh at me at class um, because i tend to not get this as wet <laughs> that's why everything it's so black in the middle because the middle is still wet and i can still clean with it um, but the edge <laughs> it's really dry so okay yeah after um Facebook Live, I probably ought to wet this again. It's about time. A lot of people like it to be super like wet all around, but you know, I'm like, if it's wet enough in the middle, it still works. Fina, I'm glad you like that. Yeah, this is a pretty color combo. I like it too. Okay, so, let's see, we're gonna scoop these out of the way, and next, let's see, I need, I need my Coastal Cabana again. That's my like summer go-to color, Coastal Cabana is. All right, so this next one, man, I got stuff like flying everywhere over here. Okay. Oopsie. And apparently my ribbon, my little bow. There we go. Okay, let's scoot these over here. So here's our, so I just flung this down. I'm like too busy organizing. So here's our next card, ladies. So we have that awesome sentiment. Some friendships are just meant to be. So they, these are my friends, um, Brenda and Emily, that I got to spend last weekend with. Definitely those friendships are just meant to be. Since seventh grade, I think that is just the coolest thing. So, and then this is an example of those dies, those complimentary dies. So you can see there isn't an image in the stamp set that um, you know looks like that, but they complement the flowers in the stamp set very, very well, I think. So, okay. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Grab what we need out, and let me give you dimensions again. So another, this is like a fun, bright color combo. Um, using this one is polished pink so our polished pink card base on the 11 inch side we cut it at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side we scored it at four and a quarter inches okay so there's our card base right then we have a piece of basic white cardstock that's going to go right on there. Oh, and as I'm doing this, you guys know I will have everything uploaded to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon with all of the colors, the products, the item codes, everything that you need to order. These products yourself will be listed on there. So three and a half by four and three quarters basic white. And then this is Coastal Cabana um, Designer Series Paper, part of the Brights Designer Series Paper Pack. This one measures three and a quarter by four and a half inches, and that's going to fit right on there. And then I just have um, some basic white and mango melody cardstock for our die cutting and then stamping and so on. Okay. All right. So let's do, I think we can do our die cutting first, and I'll do my stamping on that little corner piece next. Okay. So let's grab our die cutting machine. Okay, and let me tell you, what are we using? Because I can't get enough of the, these are the scalloped contours dies. I use them all the time. These are the set of dies, ladies. If you do not have these, I don't know what you are waiting for. This is my most favorite new die set in the annual catalog. So you can see it cuts out some of the flower images in the coordinating stamp set. And then all these awesome scalloped edge dies too okay so we're gonna put this one right on here and then with our new you'll be ordering these shortly I'm sure celebration dies so I have to actually do that twice so let's run these babies okay so since we have two flowers thank you Philomena I'm glad you like that one too yeah, so Sharon, that's maybe an example of if I put that one in at an angle. This one's not quite as bad, I think, because it's a little bit wider. It's the super kind of narrow 
um, rectangle dies that tend to go even more, but okay. Awesome, right? With the stitching and the scallops, so cute. Okay, so let's grab, we're gonna do this again. Let's see if I can get all that lifted up. Not too bad, right? Okay, let's just scoot those out of the way, right? Okay, so we're gonna do this again. We need one more of those. We can pop that out of the way. Okay, here we go. And I'm going back and forth because I think it helps do the die cutting a little bit better. So they just pop right off of the magnetic sheet, right? Those are good there. If I kind of lift these, and this one doesn't matter so much because I can clean that off later. Okay, so let's get this stuff out of the way. Okay, so we just have that little bit of stamping to do in this top corner here with our, oops, Coastal Cabana ink pad. And I just need to make sure that I have it right side up. So nice, easy tap, 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 right? We are going to stamp it right there. Some friendships are just meant to be, okay? We can, I'm gonna use, oh, I know. You know what, I probably should have cleaned the die. I kind of wondered about that. So it doesn't cut quite as well when there's something stuck in the die. So remember that, ladies. It did. I was like worried it wasn't going to come out, but we're good. Okay, so these teeny tiny little holes, those kind of need to be popped off of there too. Where's my other one? Hmm. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Okay, so while I'm flitting with this thing. Where's my other? You guys probably saw it like right that I shoved it aside somewhere well I'm gonna come across it I just know I am there it is oh it's still stuck in the die oh we'll see if this one comes out then right okay all right we got those I think it's gonna be just fine there we go well that's why I couldn't find it because it hadn't even released itself from the die there I think I got it there we go. Okay, now we have everything. All right, let me just clean that stuff off. So again, we are going to need this little baby. So I'm gonna just add some adhesive right around the center of those flowers so that they will stay. Okay, there's that one, and there's that one. Okay, now these do line up. That was one thing I realized was if you kind of keep spinning them around, I'm sure there's a trick. Somebody's probably already told you guys about it. I'm not always so good with the tricks. I just tend to kind of flip until I, and it goes, ooh, look at that. It like works perfectly on there. So there's one. And then same idea here. We'll just kind of flip until all of a sudden it just looks like it works. And that one didn't take any time at all. There we go. Okay, so aren't those cool? How about those dies, right? How nicely they layer in there. Okay, so these just have adhesive on the back of them. So we're gonna just do that and get those right there. I think we are good with that little mat now. Okay, we're gonna put some dimensionals behind this sentiment or this, yeah, I guess it does have a sentiment on it with the rectangle, right? Okay, so let's add these guys together. So we're gonna put this piece Add this one right on here. So again, this is the Brights Designer Series paper on some basic white cardstock. Everything you need to know will be on my blog. Oh, I should have gotten a new one. I think it's all gummed up on the inside. I need to clean it. I just haven't done it in a little bit. Okay, so then we're gonna add these little this fun little scallop rectangle. We're gonna pop him right on there. And I've already added my adhesive on my flowers. So those can go right there and there. Now, of course, the finishing touches, my most favorite, right? Cause that's cute, but okay, it needs a little something more. Well, I think it needs some ribbon. So we have our polished pink ribbon. And you guys know, right? The most amazing thing about Stampin' Up! is how everything 
coordinates so perfectly. So I've got my polished pink ribbon here that matches my polished pink cardstock. Right, we're gonna add my little bow here with a mini glue dot. We're gonna do that right there. And then, again, another coordinating product. These are the Playing With Patterns uh, resin dots. So this is Coastal Cabana and that's Coastal Cabana, right? So we are gonna add a couple of these little dots here right in the middle. Kind of just pulls it all together when you add those couple of little coordinating products with the same colors, right? Let's just get that one. There we go. All right, ladies. <laughs> yes, a tropical flair. I agree, Vina. I can see that. Yeah, it's like, ooh, taking me back to Hawaii, maybe, right? To Maui. Ooh, good thinking. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so ladies, we'll do our quick recap. Oh, you guys can kind of see that host code right there too. Ooh, probably because everything moved all over the place as usual. Okay, so here we go. Make sure you put your orders in, ladies. Use our host code for this month. If you put at least a $30 order in, you're gonna get one of each of these cards sent to you as a thank you. Your name is also gonna go in the drawing to win the textures and frames stamp set. And if you bump your order up to $50 after Tuesday, you get to pick a free celebration item. And you also get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the blue adhesive back gems. All right. So thank you, ladies. I'm glad you could hang out with me today. I hope you have a great last couple of days of July and we will see you soon. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you.